Inside a billionaire's mind, tips to think like a billionaire. Would could it be that genuinely isolates the affluent from poor people? Shouldn't something be said about really affluent? Also, by really rich I mean individuals who have amassed a degree of abundance that appears nearly past most standard individuals. It is an exceptionally old mental skillful deception that the manner in which you think, the musings you experience consistently are urgent to gathering abundance. Without the particular mentalities and convictions that are intended for making abundance you'll never make any riches. This is the establishment that isolates all well-off individuals from the rest. The establishment that starts in the psyche is consistently the initial step. Presently I'm not saying that in the event that you just foster these mentalities you will end up being a very rich person or aggregate any kind of abundance since activity additionally should be taken for this to occur. For abundance favorable exercises to happen, there should be a strong establishment set up that starts in the brain first. Here explicit attitudes about abundance that all tycoons share. Number 1. Failing is part of the process. Tycoons and other rich individuals don't see disappointment as disappointment and that it's down finished. On the other hand, they essentially consider it to be a hindrance to progress and one that gives freedoms to gain from. All very rich people bombed various occasions in their mission to collect their abundance however they saw it as a learning freedom to assist them with accomplishing their fantasies and their objectives. Henry Ford summarizes it best, disappointment is only a resting place. It is a chance to start again more keenly. Number 2. All very rich people are unimaginably diligent presumably to the reason behind being practically over the top and insane, yet it's this attitude that assists them with getting to where they are today. They are focused on accomplishing their vision and their objectives and will not surrender until they achieve them. Here is Steve Jobs' musings on persistence, I'm persuaded that with regards to half of which isolates fruitful business people from the non-effective ones is unadulterated constancy. Number 3. They think and dream big. On the off chance that you don't set yourself a major dream, you are never going to accomplish it. It's just straightforward. Assuming you need to turn into a very rich person you wanted to set your sights high, try sincerely and brilliant to make your fantasies a reality. In the expressions of Donald Trump, I like reasoning large. Assuming you will think anything, you should plan for an impressive future. Number 4. They have engaging attitudes about riches. As has effectively been suggested in this post, the outlook you have about cash in the establishment for collecting abundance. Any individual who is rich has an enabling outlook about cash. They accept that being affluent is something worth being thankful for. They are okay with cash. They are happy with spending it. Truth be told, they love cash. On the off chance that you don't foster an enabling attitude about abundance you'll never amass it. 5. They accept they make their predetermination. A tycoon accepts that they can make their future utilizing a blend of their considerations followed by huge activity. This is a major contrast to the customary resident who wanders through existence with the conviction that life simply happens to them and that they ought to simply acknowledge their general situation. Number 6. They accept full responsibility no matter success or failure. Regardless of whether it's disappointment or achievement tycoons assume liability for their outcomes. In any event, when they experience disappointments and misfortunes they do and they don't do this is on the grounds that they like it. They do this is on the grounds that mentally, it recognizes to the psyche that they likewise have the ability to turn an adverse outcome around. They don't t believe in playing it safe. Very rich people play the cash match to dominate. Isn't that right? This absolutely doesn't mean they are crazy with their cash yet they aren't moving toward promising circumstances with an outlook of not losing what they have or being okay with what they have yet rather attempting to discover ways of becoming rich. Number 8. They know and accept there is a plenitude of riches. They realize that there is abundance wherever in the universe and that you can amass it provided that you offer gigantic benefit to others. They accept that there is sufficient for everybody and this is distinct rather than the customary individual who accepts cash is rare. Number 9. They accept and realize that your IQ and schooling amounts to nothing. Cash couldn't care less with regards to instructive capabilities, qualifications, or IQ. Cash goes to the individuals who discover openings and make worth and all tycoons know and accept that this is the means by which to collect riches. They know it's the market that figures out where the abundance goes and assuming you can take advantage of that chance, you can make riches. Number 10. They accept abundance comes to you on the off chance that you help others. 
In the event that you can assist enough with peopling tackle a particular issue that they are having and you can do it on an enormous enough scale then you can make more riches. Tycoons know and accept that assuming you can assist enough with peopling get what they need, you can make enormous abundance. Zig Ziglar summarizes this outlook best. You can get everything in life you. We realize that tycoons are a novel sort of individuals. All tycoons on the planet share these particular mentalities about abundance that customary individuals don't. While embracing these attitudes doesn't infer you'll turn into an extremely rich person in the course of your life, it will unquestionably make for you an establishment as far as you could tell from where you can start gathering abundance and that can have a significant effect. Eventually, it is dependent upon you to change your conditions. Kindly offer this on your beloved web-based media stage in the event that you appreciated it.